Carded merino bats in violet. Is it worth getting? Let's find out. Hi, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs again, back with my weekly review of needle felting supplies and equipment. And this week we've got some carded merino bats from World of Wool and this is in their colour violet. So I'm showing you this today because you'll be seeing it tomorrow as I'm starting to cover my dragon's body, sneak peek at where we've got to, starting to cover my dragon's body in his body, in his main body colour. So I thought I'd do a quick review of the wool that I'm using because this is the first time I've got this. I've actually, generally for top coats I've been using roving or tops or whatever it's called in your area but I got these bats because they're in such beautiful colours. So order them and I just wanted to see, give you a review of what they are like. So first thing I noticed when I opened this is it's so clean. There is no vegetable matter, nothing in there at all, which is fantastic. And it is also so soft. Unlike the bats that I showed you for the core, this is more in, one kind of strip it's rather not in layers so you have to break it off it's not so neat when you break it off but that's not a huge problem because you can break it and then when you've got a piece you can just gently pull it draft it out into a more straight line as you'll see in my dragon for covering him you just draft it out into a strip that you can then wrap around your piece so it's not a big deal so I say it's so soft, it's so clean. Give you a quick close up of it some more. And the colour, I don't know how well this comes across on camera, it looks pretty true to me just now, but the colour is almost iridescent. It's it's a red toned purple, but in light it's almost shifting, it's almost like there's sparks of blue and sparks of red in it, although it is all the one colour, it's not a mixing of colours, it's one solid colour, but it kind of has an iridescent effect which I'm totally loving. Don't know if that'll pick up on the camera, but some areas look more red, some areas look more blue depending on the light. It has a reasonable short staple length of fibre, as you'll see I'm pulling it apart and restacking it. And this is just gently, it's not tearing the fibres. I don't think I explained it very well in the last video. If you just gently pull a piece of fibre, a piece of fleece, then the fibres all just slide across each other without breaking. You're just, they're all interwoven like this and you just gently pull from the edges and the fibres slide across and then you restack it, slide it again. And what happens when you're doing that nice and gently, it kind of sets down to its shortest staple length pretty much. It's not very scientific but it's rough enough and this is quite a short fibre length as you can see when I'm pulling it apart it comes down to about one and a half inches. It's really short. Also have done a quick test felting with it for you just into a ball and you can see it actually felt down it seems to be felting really quickly. It feels like it's felting really quickly, but if you felt to fairly solid, um, to fairly solid pieces, you want them nice and in their shape and in a nice smooth surface, it actually takes a fair bit of time because it's felting down to a real tiny size. So just take that into account if you're using this. It works really nicely, but it's going to, felt down to a lot smaller than quite a lot of other fibres might do. Certainly a lot, lot smaller and denser than my core wool gets to. But overall, I'm going to say it's a pretty quality fibre. I'm totally loving the look of this. The colour is gorgeous. The feel is so soft. It is like a pillow. I, I'm not kidding. I opened this up and I was like, ah. oh, that's going to be a thumbnail, isn't it? Um, it is so soft and pillowy. It felt most beautifully, as you can see, starting to cover my dragon. It looks pretty amazing. Um, it's fairly easy to work with. Just watch that. It's going to take a little bit longer than you might think it does if you want a nice smooth surface and you're going to use a little more. You know, it felts down 
to quite a small size but you can feel that another way to test without felting you know it just has a lot of air in it so a piece like this which looks pretty big you can with your fingers just squish it down to a really small size so you're saying to yourself okay so when I come to felt it that's roughly the size it's going to be so Ben McFuzzy Lugs approved. I'll leave links down below for where you can buy this product. It's, like I say, it's World of Wool. I'm totally not sponsored for any of this. If I ever am, I will tell you. But this is, I've purchased this, I'm using it, I love it. That's just my opinion on it. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. If you're interested in more videos like this, I make them every single Wednesday, then click subscribe, the wee circle with the dog's face on it down below. And if you've got any products that you'd like me to have a look at and try out, then give a comment, give us a thumbs up and come back every Wednesday. Thank you.